NBA 2K Mobile just made a huge announcement. There is a new game mode coming out for Season 7. It is called Rewind. So we're going to the official announcement. It says the Season 7 launch, play the action from the previous night in the NBA, new objectives every day. Reproduce best plays and performances via player lock gameplay. Recreate or rewrite history from the biggest games. There will be more details releasing in the coming days but they did drop a teaser video so let's check it out and let's see exactly what we can uncover from looking at it we can see it starts with a newspaper article showing a highlight from the previous night this definitely gives us an idea of what the game mode will be based on but let's see how it looks inside the game all right cool so we're going to pause it here so on the top it says weeks three and four you can see the top place for that day so it looks like the objective is Lillard hits buzz beater to finish off the Bulls. Looking at the bottom, it looks like there's other highlights as well that you get to rewind. Now these icons I am clicking over, I'm not sure what they mean yet. I do get the impression that there are objectives that reward a certain amount of points. Let's see what the rest of the clip shows. So right here it says, play as Damian Lillard, replicate the shot, commit no turnovers, and win the game and it gives you 250 of the rewind points. Now what are the replay points for? I'm not sure yet. But this does give us an indicator of what this is going to be based off. You can see directly underneath that it does say rewards. It's possible that the points that you earn, you're either going to be directly redeeming them for rewards or there's going to be a progression path just like all the other events. Let's see what else we can uncover. All right, so this is in-game footage. I guess this is the reenactment of the shot. You already know Dan got buckets. So it says recreate or rewrite history. All right, so let's pause it here real quick. So this is the score. The max score you can get is 400. Again, I see these icons here. They could be power-ups maybe. Or maybe if you use certain players in your lineup, you activate some abilities. It could also mean 0 of 1 could be you winning the game. 0 of 3, maybe there's three objectives that you need to complete. Looking on the next screen, it says win by one point or more, you get 150 points. Make nine three-pointers with Stephen Curry, you get 250 points. So that is a total of 400, which is the same as the max score. That makes a lot of sense. It also says bonuses earned. But just the fact that you're going to be able to go into a match and go crazy with a player, hitting nine threes with Curry should be a lot of fun. And having to do these specific objectives and challenges does remind me of the my team version on the console. So this is a really cool mode. I'm really excited to see what else is being included. It's coming soon, right? We know season seven is right around the corner. And like they said above, there's going to be more details in the coming days. So definitely stay tuned in. Subscribe to the channel for more information regarding NBA 2K Mobile season seven. And of course, you know, we got pack openings. So we do have a pack opening coming later this week. We do have our final superstar spinners for season seven, in which we're going to be able to claim our last anti-matter card. So if there's a card you guys want me to go for, or if you want me to feature gameplay, just let me know in the comments section. We could do everything in that one video. Just like we did last week, we did feature gameplay of all the cards we pulled from the event. And there have been some special packs inside the shop. I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of those later in the week as well. So stay tuned in. As always, I appreciate the support. I will catch everyone in the next one. Stay ballin'.